Hey there, this is Tim, Head of Training at Pencil, with another Skills Spotlight video. This time we're looking at the range of different image styles that you can create with Pencil's image generation tool. We've got a great image. This is one that I prepared during our Prompting 101 video, so if you haven't watched that, go back and have another look. It's got all the features we discussed in there. But we're not talking about photos today. And this is very specifically a photo prompt. So what am I going to do? I'm going to change my model. Stable Diffusion is a good all-rounder, but DALI 3, while poor at photos, is great at other visual media. Imogen's a good all-rounder as well. Getty's very photocentric. So first thing to do is change the medium. I'm no longer generating a photo. So I'm going to change my medium in the prompt and we're going to go with a 2D computer illustration. That's going to have some other knock-on effects. My prompt was written for photos. I don't really care about the lighting in the same way in this situation and I certainly don't need to have those camera settings anymore. Instead, I'm going to specify a bit more about the hue and I'm going to be really specific in that visual style that I want a kind of flat graphic design style. We're going to generate four images so that we can see a variety of different results and we'll see how these come out. So straight away, I can actually see an issue. I'm getting the colour palette through on the image. I've got one with weird framing and some text. I could definitely use negative prompting to get rid of them, but then I've got two really strong 2D style illustrations. Moving on from that, we can play around a little bit more with the style. We can do things that are a bit more creative. I'm going to go for an oil painting. So again, I'm not just going to change the medium up here. I'm going to add some extra details. I don't want that flat graphic style anymore. In this case, I want visible brush strokes. We can also specify an artist as a reference. This could be any artist. I'm going with Van Gogh, Van Gogh if you prefer that. Um, really good reference point because there's so many images available to all the models. We're trying four generations again. We'll see what we get. And it's excellent. Like it's got the exact visual style that I wanted on all four of them. So. Yeah, that was a real winner. Dali is very good for that painted style. We're going to finish with a hand-drawn sketch, or a hand-drawn-esque sketch. And actually, I want to specify that I want that to be black and white, just to give a bit of difference from what we've been doing. I'm going to get rid of visible brush strokes. I'm going to get rid of Van Gogh. And... Actually, let's get rid of my colours as well. I've said black and white, let's not confuse it by putting in a colour palette. So out they come, out come those painterly details and now we're going to specify charcoal drawing and I want shading specified in there and I'm going to say monochrome shading just to reinforce black and white. We're going to hit generate for four generations and let's see what we come out with. And they're good. So we've got, yeah, really nice kind of line charcoal drawings. Bit of ginger hair creeping through that. That's my fault for not removing ginger from the prompt. I clearly confused it by saying black and white and ginger. Looks quite good though. And yeah, a great fourth and final image. So that's not the limit of what you can do. We've done those four different styles, but the world is your oyster. AI can generate huge different varieties of image. Keep an eye out for more of these Skills Spotlight videos and thank you very much. Goodbye.